After a frenzy of briefings and rebuttals and statements on the Attorney General's report on inappropriate behavior by Governor Andrew Cuomo, things a little bit quieter today. Let's bring in ABC News political director Rick Klein to try to help us navigate through some of this news. Rick, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hey, my pleasure. Great to be with you. So what, you, you break it down. What's, what's your reaction to uh, everything that went down? Kind of what's the buzz even today now as we all try to kind of digest all that happened yesterday? The report was, was thick with details and then the governor comes out with his own statement. What, what did you make of all this? The report was a bombshell, and I think the surprise in the light of day, day uh, 24 hours later, is that Governor Cuomo is still in office and apparently digging in. He has very few friends left, either in Albany or New York City or in Washington. Uh, almost all of the prominent Democratic officials that you can name, from President Biden and Speaker Pelosi through Senator Schumer and Gillibrand on on down, have condemned his actions, have called for his resignation. Uh, we know that the pace of um, of the impeachment inquiry is is quickening uh, with the with the assembly speaker saying that he's going to be getting documents from uh, from the Tish James investigation. So things are things are moving behind the scenes, as as you noted. But uh, right now, uh, it's status quo only in the sense that Cuomo and, and his insiders are the only ones who, who seem to think that there's a path back for him, uh, for him to fight through it. Uh, and and what was in that report was absolutely stunning, jaw dropping in every way. It's there in black and white as a uh, as a as a historical document mm -hmm. that is uh, very relevant as uh, Governor Cuomo ponders his. Future and uh, Democrats across the country uh, try to be rid of him. Quite frankly, they'd like to be done with Governor Cuomo once and for all. Rick, I want to get to a couple of things there. I'll unpack that a little bit. I'm just wondering. You've seen many politicians under fire for a variety of things, including similar um, accusations and, and claims, things like that. What do you think is going on right now? Because it doesn't seem we have not heard anybody come out uh, to support him at this point. So, what could they possibly do in the Cuomo camp today? Well, I think there's a, there's a sense that if he were to resign, it would be a, a tacit admission of guilt, and he doesn't want that kind of stain on his reputation. That uh, if he's going to maintain that there was no inappropriate conduct and contact, that uh, that, that resignation uh, would would seem to, uh, to to suggest guilt. Uh, they still believe there's a version of events that will play out and would play out in a more formal inquiry, like an impeachment one or the criminal proceedings that he could be facing. Uh, we've got at least three local prosecutors who are launching investigations about the incidents alleged in that report. That appear to have happened in different parts of New York State. So I, I think that they, they're looking to, for an opportunity to be able to make that case. I think mm -hmm. in terms of um, other recent examples, the, the the current governor of Virginia, early on in his term, faced uh, a, a calls to resign after a blackface scandal. Mm -hmm. Pictures of him emerged from an old college yearbook in blackface, and uh, it, there were a few days there where the the whole national media attention and certainly the state of Virginia was thinking he's going to go, he's going to go, he's going to go. Biden, as a candidate, called on him to mm -hmm. go, but he didn't. He stuck it out, and now. His term is ending at the end of the year, and he's in much better standing. So there might be a way to ride it out, only if if you're not forced out. But I don't see that as directly analogous, and I don't think that uh, that there's a path back to, um, mm -hmm. to to respectability or to to efficacy as governor right now for for Mr. Cuomo. Right behind you is the White House. This might be a real obvious one, but there are so many people that call for his resignation, but there's none bigger than the President of the United States. I mean, how major a deal, and how does that weigh on their camp when when he comes out and says? You should resign. Yeah, and look, Andrew Cuomo worked in that building mm -hmm. and for an administration. Uh, he's well known in those circles. Uh, President Biden has known him for probably three decades, if not longer. Uh, he understands how politics works as well as anyone, and he understands that when the president of the United States calls on someone in his own party to resign, mm -hmm. that is an extraordinary step. Uh, it is extraordinarily hard to come back from that, uh, to think about what your political future uh, might hold. Um, the, the White House, congressional Democrats would like this chapter to be over. Uh, for months, they were able to say, wait for the report. Everyone mm -hmm. can cool their, their jets for a little bit until we see what the, what, the, what the attorney general comes back with. Now that that report is out and you have the specific and, and apparently credible allegations from 11 different women, that culture uh, of sexual harassment, the hostile work environment, I, I don't see how anyone comes to his defense, and I, and, I, and I don't see how this ends well for Governor Cuomo. I think I have time for one more, and I want you to kind of look ahead a little bit, because one way or another, uh, it looks like Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul is going to be the governor. If he resigns, certainly. If it goes through the impeachment process, while it's going through the impeachment process uh, in the Senate there. So is she even a potential candidate the next time the office is open next year? Um, what does this do? Is Tish James, many people have said, the attorney general is eyeing that office? I mean, what's it look like for New York State um, in that office, in the governor's mansion? 
Yeah, look, I think I think if Kathy Hochul were to run for a full term, uh, having the power of incumbency is something substantial, even if she isn't quite as prominent as someone like Tish James. Frankly, though, I would I would um, it, it, I would think that there's going to be something of a free for all. I'd mm -hmm. look for people uh, who may, maybe members of Congress who were ambitious uh, to, to to come back to the state and run. Uh, you could also see people from the business community. I've seen names like Andrew Yang floated in the last mm -hmm. uh, day or day or so. Hillary Clinton's name's even been out there, although I don't think that's uh, exceedingly likely. Uh, I think that um, the, 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 the idea that Democrats could lose the governor's office because of Cuomo is going to be a real one. And there's a lot of Republicans who will use this as an example of, uh, of corruption. Uh, yet another New York governor um, mm -hmm. who, who would be leaving office, potentially forced out of office amid scandal. That is not a good track record. And if the Republicans are going to be successful, uh, whether that's through Andrew Giuliani, who I don't think is going to be the nominee, or Lee Zeldin, the congressman from, from Long Island, who I think is the more likely nominee, uh, they've got a big argument. Argument to, uh, to, to make and some 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 evidence to back it up, uh, the Democrats are going to want to want to protect whatever they can uh, the, the gains that they've had in New York. They're not going to want to give that up, and I think it's going to be quite a spirited primary, mm -hmm. uh, regardless of uh, of whether what Governor Cuomo does in, in the next couple of weeks. He is ABC News political director Rick Klein. Rick, so much to, to break down, and so much more to come. So we, we'd love to have you back again soon. You bet. Thanks for joining Happy us. Happy to do it. Thank Thanks you so for much. joining us tonight. Thanks. Rick, appreciate it.